A new river walk was unveiled today near the Patterson Great Falls. Nick Calloway covers New Jersey and gives us a first look. The Patterson Great Falls National Park is a wonder that attracts 300,000 people every year. Mark Costa and his family are visiting from Portugal. Well, they're pretty. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not usual to see this kind of thing in, uh, near the big cities, right? And just around the bend from the falls is this, a brand new two and a half acre river walk park that runs right along the Passaic River. Mayor Andre Sea was there Friday to unveil the $7 million space. We believe that we are positioning Patterson for progress and that the Great Falls National Park will be a national attraction. This great lawn was once a small mountain that was quarried. In the 19th century, silk mills were built here. Some of that history was left standing. Well, this is uh, the remains of the Nipshire Moss silk dyeing mill. Darren Bach is superintendent of the Patterson Great Falls National Park. He said the idea was to offer more than just recreation. We wanted a park that would actually have elements in it to speak to the long, rich history of industry that happened here. So this is a great mix of, of a, a great lawn to throw a frisbee, but also a little bit of industrial archaeology in the middle of it. An imposing absence at Friday's unveiling was the late Congressman Bill Pascrell, who died in August. The Great Falls would not be a national park if it weren't for his fierce advocacy. He was a champion for not only Patterson, but for this park. The river walk space is not open to the public just yet. Next week, the EPA is set to begin removing asbestos from the ruins of an industrial mill next door. Officials here are hoping to officially open this park to the public sometime next year. In Patterson, New Jersey, Nick Calloway, CBS News, New York. That just looks spectacular. Unbelievable. Got to go, right? There are visitors from Portugal. How about that? In our that? backyard. <laughs>